John Kraft, the COO of Uber Media. Thanks for your time. Yeah, my pleasure. Hey, tell my viewers, first of all, about Uber Media itself and its function. So Uber Media is the largest independent developer of Twitter applications. So we have six million active users on Twitter. We have about 25 million messages sent every day through our applications. Uh, and we launched, uh, in October, we launched a platform called Chime In, which is intended to be an interest network. Which I joined, actually. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, um, I'm Zenny62. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the notion behind Chime In is to allow, is to essentially create more relevance in social media, allow for deeper engagement. So it's an interest network which allows people to follow not just people, but also interests. And, by just indicating a handful of, of your core interests, you immediately get a stream of relevant information and content that you can engage with. And, and it's a really great opportunity to meet people who share common interests and create those kinds of opportunities. And I love using it. How is it growing so far? It's been fantastic. I mean, in, in, in just over two months, we've had three and a half million unique uh, Wow, users. congratulations. So uh, really taking off, uh, we've got a lot of users engaging and registering, and it's you know, one of the things we've been really excited about is this the positive sentiment on the site, you know, mm -hmm. where we have managers of the community, but so much of the of the user base is just positive, you know, there's been very little that we have to manage. It's right. Really How did Chime In start? Because I'll tell you what I like about Chime In, and I thought because of its complexity or its apparent complexity, I question how viral it could become but it seems I'm wrong. How did it start, and do you think it overtakes Twitter? I know it's a bold state, bold question. Yeah, no, yeah. our intent isn't to overtake Twitter. I mean, Twitter serves, a, I think, a very different function, and is an amazing product, and as I said, we have a huge Twitter install base in our, in our um, business. Um, really, uh, and your point about complexity is well taken, and we have had some feedback that just published, and not just publish in short bursts, but have different kinds of media sharing, ability to engage, polls, so, but, but we are taking the, the complexity feedback and, and trying to, to encapsulate all of that functionality and richness into a simpler UX. And so it's, you know, we're still early, it's been three months, and we're going to keep working on that. And explain the relationship between Remedia and Pandora, by the way. Well, there's no, there's no relationship other than that I was um, involved in both. So I oh. founded Pandora with Tim Westergren. Um, and I was, uh, you know, the second or third employee in Uber Media mm -hmm. uh, with Bill Gross. Um, and uh, but there's really no relationship other than me. And what are you looking for at CES? And what have you seen so far that you find interesting? So you know, for us, mobile is such a huge part of our business: smartphones, tablets. And we wanted to see what are what are some of the directions that those businesses are taking. Um, and also, we, we came to build some relationships with mobile carriers and device manufacturers. Uh, we think there's an enormous amount of strategic. Uh, value both that we can provide and they can provide us, and so we're here to build some of those relationships. Uber Media, terrific products, chime in. I love it. Hey, thanks thanks for much. your time. No, I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you.